Hello everyone, my name is Hayden and today I will be instructing you on in the use of the emergency landing gear uh, air bottle. Uh, you will use this when your engine is no longer working and you need the gear to come down quickly. The landing gear is hydraulically operated on the 109 but if the engine is not turning it's not turning the hydraulic pump. The windmilling prop will, will slowly lower the gear but at low air speeds it won't be fast enough to get the gear down before you crash. So I'm going to be showing you the best time to use it. In this scenario, uh, the engine is inoperative. I have the prop pitch dialed all the way back to uh, minimize drag on the prop. I'll be landing at that field over there. It's Marquise West. The key thing to remember with the bottle is that the landing gear has to be selected down first and your airspeed must be below 250 or the, it just won't lower the gear fast enough. So proper timing and positioning of, of your approach is important. Okay, we're lined up with the runway. When we're close enough, we'll start bleeding speed. And we're going to do that with the forward slip. So I'm going to push the rudder all the way to the right and keep the ailerons to the left. That's going to bleed our speed down a lot. Okay, you can select the gear down now. Now we need to slow down more. So I'll start lowering flaps. 250 right there. We're going to use the bottle. Look, there's one gear. There's both gear. So now we just need to manage our flare. Dead stick landing. And that bottle helped get our gear down quickly. The prop was not turning fast enough to get the gear to come down at a normal speed. So we used that bottle to help us. So right at the last second, our gear came down and we were able to make a nice safe landing. So don't underestimate the power of the bottle. It'll save you and keep your plane intact. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.